love that. That's science. Can we put some music? That's science and action, man. Look at that down thrust. All right, we're gonna run to Aerotech. We're gonna get another B25. B25. Yeah. And we're gonna so go shoot episodes on the B25. Better when you fly together. And the Grapner hot trigger. Is it the hot rigger or the hot trigger? No, the hot trigger. No, I think it's the hot rigger. I like it. It does look good. It does. I mean, that is very much 3D style. It's very sporty and nice. I can't wait to fly it. <laughs> that being said, I can't. <laughs> This is by far my favorite 3D foamy air. Better than the Sukhoi? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go to Aerotech. Bye bye. You coming? You might as well come. We're off to Aerotech. It's our local hobby shop. How long? How long we you... support them pretty well. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been coming to Aerotech? I, my first earliest memory was seven years old. Wow. Seven, seven years, years old. old. I got the Carl Goldberg Gentle Lady with my dad. It was $28. And it took me three weeks to build and 15 seconds to destroy it. So yeah, we try to support our local hobby shop. If you guys have a hobby shop in your area, make sure you give them some love. Give them love. If you're in Canada, check out Great Hobbies. Yeah. If you're in Dayton, Ohio, check out Radical RC. Yep. And if you're in North Canton, Ohio, check out Aerotech. Aerotech. Giant tiger moth. Look at that guy. Look how happy he is. Dude, do you think he got paid to hold that? Dude, I think he did it for free. <laughs> yeah, he probably got the plane. <laughs> Dude, giant RC trucks. Let's buy them. Wait. I think we need to test fly this HBI Savage. Ooh, look at this. Oh sh these shocks are better than my car. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> They honestly are better than your car. Oh, dude, look at that—a grasshopper. So <laughs> grasshopper. That's sick. Yeah. That's old young, school. Young it. Found it. I found it. Do littles raiders. Do little raiders. So, so here's the. Deal. I do have to say though, just from looking at this picture, that the Habaco one looks better because it has so, actual cockpit glass. Yeah. Rather so, than painted foam. Game smooth changer. flight. It has AS3X. AS3X. That's, that's good. Detailed gunnering and three. Hundred and twenty dollars, ninety nine for that and one. And this one is ready to fly. This one's bind and fly. Ooh, wow! So the brushes the motors gets you. Just something to think about. It's a little bit pricey. Let's see if it's worth it. Nobody knows. Dude, Ooh, look, so many, Typhoon H. Dude, there's so many cool things in that one. Phantoms are selling phantoms now too. If you could get any one of these on the ceiling, <coughs> which one would it be? Hoo -hoo. I already know which one I would take. All right, I'm still. And I don't. Well, I mean, that one's legit. It looks just like Josh Orchard. Remember that at Flight yeah, Fest? Giant. Yeah, he scratch built one, and it looks just like that, but it's like this, it's, al it's almost the same size. Who, who had the other one? Who had the other biplane? Who, oh, who, Kevin Teshner. Kevin Teshner, that's what I was thinking. K Tesh. Ooh, look, the, I think the. Uh, Never gonna believe yeah, look at the wing on that one. It's more realistic. It's, it's animalistic. It's like. Wah. No, see how it like bends up between the nacelles yeah, and mm -hmm. the thing you do? This one doesn't. Yeah, this has a gun turret there. That what's, has a gun turret there. What's more? This what's, one's like kind of olive drab. This one's more like a green. Okay. This one has bigger tires. This one has little skinny mini tires. This one has see-through canopy. This one has a turret in the back, but doesn't have the little ting tang. This one also kind of has like bubbly foam. Hey, have this one's more kind of clean. Has... Well, we got B25s. So it didn't come. It doesn't come with a battery. It doesn't come with a battery. What? I mean, bind and fly has an asterisk on it where it's like bind and fly. It means you plug it, the battery in and you bind it. Yeah. And then you fly it. Yeah. You can't bind it without a battery. No, there's no there's no electron juices flowing through it. Huh. So, so it's more expensive. So now it doesn't have brushless motors and it doesn't have a battery. But look, I can grab it by the wingtip and it doesn't snap. Don't do that one though. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking pretty cool. Yeah. Actually a lot cooler than I was expecting. I'm glad he painted it though. Yeah, it, it wouldn't. Would, it would have looked pretty bad if it wasn't painted. On white, it wouldn't have been yeah. nearly as cool looking. Paint really wants to peel though. Does it? Yeah. What kind yeah, of paint did you use? You can see right here where it peeled once. Oh yeah. Nice thing is it kind of blends in with the scheme. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of looks like everything's peeling off anyway, so. Yeah, it kind of fits. We're gonna be shooting that episode later, today. We're shooting that episode, the Grapner Hot Trigger, and we also got these guys. This is the Habago B25, and that's the Horizon B25. Wait, no, that's the Horizon. No, that's the Habago. That's the Horizon, I think. Taxiing is fun. 
All right. We're all packed up. We're gonna meet everybody over at the Hawks flying field. We're gonna go shoot. Let's do it, let's you, shoot. You ready to shoot? Let's shoot. I got the uh, mini quad stuff. He's got phantom stuff. And we're going. We are ready. Look at that thing. What is that? That's just a uh, uh, Oh, dude, we're in Louisville or North Camp 102. It's got a weird address. We're in, yeah, we're, we're at Hawks fly Flying Field. Hockey, Hawkeye. We're going to fly some B-25s. B-25 Mitchells. We're going to fly some airplanes, fly some quads. Nice little RC field. What'd you fly? That's a, that's a Phantom 4. Phantom 4? I don't know if you've seen it before, but it's a, it's something. So what's the plan for these episodes? We're at shootout, dude. So B-25 or B-25. Dogfight. Price, comparison, quality. Dogfight. What oh. about the 3D plan? What are we doing with that? Uh, we're gonna Dog fly fight. that, and we're gonna we're gonna cut trees. Combat. Cut trees. We're okay. Cut. He's up. He's look, up in the sky. Look up his nose. Got done with that episode. Big orange plane. Hot trigger. And you crashed it. Whoa, 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 whoa. You crashed I crash it. it. I, I land, landished it. You landed land it in it. a crash landing. No, I did. But we got one episode down. We're doing one more. I was chasing it. I almost hit. I almost hit it. No, you did. I did hit it you once, clicked. but I almost hit it really hard twice. So now we're gonna. Before we leave, we're gonna shoot this episode real quick. It's the Horizon B-25 and the Habago P-25. Both episodes are in the link below. If they're not out yet, they will be shortly. Check them out. Where's it coming? Where's it coming? Where's it coming? Coming to. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, dude. Oh! <laughs> how did that feel, dude? It felt fantastic. <laughs> it felt so good. Good to <laughs> Look at how good that looks. Actually, looks. Handled the hit pretty good, didn't it? it actually did really well. Yeah, that was a good hit. That was Dude, a good hit. Who kills that one? That was a good hit. Wow. Oh my gosh. Is that one of the shoe strings done it? Uh, no, I think that was a, a, a warrior. No, this was. This was a warrior. What warrior. is this? Yeah. This is Bob's golden days. Is that you, Bob? Yep. Which one? Right here. That's Bob. He's a handsome one. Yeah. Dude, that is crazy. Is you that your house? That yeah, that's my house. Is that it? you still live in? Still live in. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. And then there was one that uh, was a minnow that we had. It's a control line airplane. That's so funny. That's so awesome. And see cool. that it was it had the sign for the hobby shop. That was in your basement, right? Yep. Yep. This was. Uh, these were the two two of the guys I flew with. Todd's still there. Well, that was, yeah, that was the G1, and this was the G2. Gulfstream 1, Gulfstream 2. Yeah, this was the G2, and then this was the interior in that airplane. It wasn't a leather interior, which is a little unusual. <laughs> but funny. What year was that? 70s? It, probably. It's, 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 airplane was, <laughs> it's got that airplane 70s brown. Yeah. And then uh, this was, when we bought the Hawker, this was them bringing it from England. They ferried it from England, and this is the way it looked inside. This is a radio package, and it was a portable thing. They plugged it in, and all the wire bundles went up the floor. And you can't see them here, but they, all, you know, they they ferry it over with that. And then and these are the two blokes that brought it over. So you, <laughs> so you basically buy it bare bones like this, and then someone comes in and outfits it. You take it to a place and outfit it. That's a separate process. Holy cow! We well, call them greenies, and that's why because they're they greenies. Look, Yep. Right. Then we bought the Challenger, 
so Bob, for people watching the vlog, you but you are retired now, but you flew for how many years? I've got uh, over 50, 50 years now in, in as a pilot. How many hours? Uh, I've got around 19,000. Holy cow. That's nice. And as a corporate pilot, that's not too bad. Bob worked with my dad. They flew all over the world together. Um, if you guys haven't checked it out, there is a podcast. Actually, two podcasts now. One of the real early podcasts was with Bob and my dad. And, that was, um, uh, and then we well, recently just did one with Bob. With so Bob. check the it links below for those. Bob, I never realized you had dark hair. Yeah, at one time. <laughs> <laughs> I had hair. <laughs> I don't have any more. <laughs>